Welcome back to Juro3 YouTube channel. Radio, um, next project. Um, I am in the process of rebuilding a Kempro KR450, um, I guess that would have been XL, um, or a 450. Um, so basically everything's been stripped down um, and been cleaned up. The casings have been glass bead blasted and painted in this pewter colour. Um, I had the mask clamps uh, zinc plated and I replaced the actual U-bolts because they were crap with some galvanised ones. So that's that's that one there. The top housing, bottom housing, same deal. Uh, inside didn't need doing. Uh, it was in good condition. Um, I, you know, as usual, glass bead blast, uh, edge prime and paint. And the same applies to the um, bearing ring. So everything in this particular rotator is in a really good condition. Um, even when you're only minor cleaning up, I mean the motor itself uh, is in very good condition. So you know it's uh, it's been all stripped down. I did strip it down and clean it out and everything else just to be on the safe side. Motor tail capacitor, you can see it looks like brand new. So I don't think this rotator has had much use. We only got to look at the um, the top or the mid chassis. I'll call this the mid chassis. And there's the top chassis, um, and I've actually glued the steel bushes in so they don't fall out all the time and wobble around. So you only got to look at these; they're in, there's, they're in really good condition. So that's like, wow. So this is a, uh, a 450, so they never had limit switches. So I will be installing limit switches. Um, beauty of these ones um, to make it into a 600. You just put the limit switches on the little post here, and they've already got the holes screwed in. So I, instead of making it into a 650, which means they have a second set of drive gears, um, which goes on the on the on this here. So it's the same chassis. So the 650 has two sets of drive gears. So these gears would be two lots sitting on here, one there, and one set there. That's um, that's how they do a 650. So this is just only a, only a 450 only. So it'll be a single set of gears, but they never have limit switches. So I don't like rotators without limit switches if they've got potentiometers. So limit switches will be going in. So the two limit switches will be going in like this. These are some refurbished ones I've got a hold of. So basically they'll be going in there like that, and only held in by one screw. So that's uh, one of the things they'll be doing. Uh, as I showed you, the gears themselves are in really good condition. Put these back over there. There's the three sets of um, loose stacked final get dry gears. Um, checked all the teeth, they're not, they're not bent or broken or anything else. You can even just see a little bit of the the wear on that. Uh, just not wear, that's just, uh, just taking the slight well, whatever the coating they put on this off, um, and they're all in really good condition. They're not major worn, not, not majorly worn or anything. So they still got that grey colour to them. And there's the plastic first drive gear. And even it, uh, when you look at the actual physical teeth, they're in really good condition. Shafts as well. Always back over there. Shafts have some uh, marks on them, but you can't feel it. It's just, you know, I've, I've tried, I've chested all this. I may just polish it up a little bit. But there's, you know, just some little marks that you can't feel on. They're just, just a mark. So they're in, in good condition. And then you've got the little um, gear spaces. And, you know, they look brand new. Then we've got all the, uh, the potentiometer drive gears. Again, they're in good condition. You know, a bit of a discoloration from the grease that was on them, but that's about all. They're all in good nick. And we have all the screws and bits and pieces here. The uh, DK um, pinion gear is like brand new. Um, so in here we have the, um, the, motor sh um, the motor plate and bottom gear chassis. So we have the little clip for the top of the, the drive gears. We have the uh, E-clip 
we have the little narrow BK um, BK uh, spring. We'll get it right in a minute. And there's the BK um, rotor or butterfly. And I have replaced the epoxy M3 with an M4 grub screw. They just hold so much better. Um, and basically, in all this, all this, these are the stainless steel screws that come out of it. I just did a bit of clean up, and that's like brand new. So the potentiometer I've stripped down. It was in good condition, but I stripped it down and cleaned it, and um, basically put. Um, oops, I mean that bit of wiring. Um, made sure that it was okay, and um, put some contact grease on the center swapper and there's a plug the original plug I didn't get with this so this is another one I, that I'm going to use so it's in pretty good nick and I've got a brand new boot for this as well and there's a seal for the the socket and I basically They do get a bit of um, damage to them on the outside with um, they just pit and everything else. So I've cleaned it up and I've painted the surround. I mean the back section's fine. It's just the front section which is exposed to the weather. They don't weather very well, but the the pins in this one are in nice shiny condition. So so basically that's what will be happening here. That should have been sat down there. I only painted this about an hour ago, so. I, etch prime, I cleaned it, etch primed it, painted it, and then put a clear on it in, the, in a silver and then a clear. So basically this is the first part of the reassembly part of it. So I just sort of show you what, what I'm doing um, and we shall go from there. So, oh, and then we have the swing bar. And the swing bar has a date on it. 97. Um, I can't read what the rest of it said. It looks like O. And it could be a 6 or a 5 or something. So it's interesting because I thought... Kempro was sold to Yesu in the mid 90s. That's 97. So, well, then again, the parts might have been made up and that was stamped and then they bought all the parts. Who knows? Okay, we shall move forward. Catch on. Okay, Ronnie I have now assembled the uh, motor onto its motor plate and I've assembled the BK brake and the butterfly and I've also done a little mod. In the bottom of these, there's a fair bit of a gap between the BK drum and the housing of the motor. So basically, I have installed. Um, well, I do these mods to these all the time. It's a, a washer and a, a washer and a, a O-ring, just to stop grease, a lot of grease from falling at the bottom of the BK brake and going all over the place. So just there's a small gap there, probably a, a mil, maybe less. So it just means that it's not going to be stuff flying everywhere and keeping it in the, the, the light grease I use in the actual brake as much as possible as opposed to falling all over the motor. So I've run it all up and it's all, oh sorry about the flaring out, oh geez. So it's all there ready. So now I'm going to go and start assembling the rest of the uh, the rotator. I'll be back. Right -o, I have got the um, bottom set of gears in. And I've just done a test on it. It's all looking good. It's all greased up, ready to go. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on there, but it's it's, um, it's all good. It's a plastic gear, so it's all all moving freely. Uh, it's not locked up or anything. So now we get to do the top half, and we can move forward. Catch gotcha. it. Top um, sub chassis is on. Uh, all the, the get top gears are greased. And basically, we can move forward. Uh, and as you can see, everything's still moving in here. And it's free. Um, I've loctited these screws in, as well as I loctited the motor screws in here as well. So, so basically, because I don't have spring washers, so we use Loctite um, or a form of Loctite. So, all good skis. We move forward. Catch you soon. Okay, we are now getting stuck into it and really get moving forward. Okay, the uh, swing bar is on for the limit switches. I've put the um, all the gears on for the potentiometer. I've set the potentiometer, so that's all good. And I've put in the motor start capacitor uh, with the two screws at the bottom here. So now we can uh, get stuck into doing the limit switches and uh, all that sort of stuff. 
So we shall carry on. There you go. The uh, limit switches are now wired. Uh, I've got everything wired in. Put it out to the uh, socket. So all they need to do is just poke it through the hole and it'll be all done. So the motorcycle capacitor is all wired. It's all ready to go. All they need to do now is just drop it into the housings. I'm going to do a few tests first, make sure everything is right, and then we'll be dropping it in the housing. And we shall catch you soon. Okay, all tested and working fine. So now we can put the cables through here. Drop him in there. Get all the cables out first. Be a good idea. Drop it in there like that. Grab our three screws or hex bolts. Mighty Addy. I shall go and solder the socket on. Do these bolts up and I'll be back. Okay, I have now. Uh, done my alignment, my pre-alignment I should say, as you can see on the the gears here, these are the potential gears, so I'll get my alignment right, I've actually greased the top track, the bottom track, all inside the, the, uh, the gear and the top track of the housing and the lower bearing ring, so now I'm about to drop it on here, I've done my alignment, I've got my markings on here, and I am going to sit up and drop the, the top housing on, so it's been all done. And I'll also put um, anti seize into the four holes here, and in the inside of the, the openings in the um, for the bearing ring. So I'm going to sit up and drop this on with my alignment marks around the camera. First go, like that. Right, I'll now go and put the bottom bearing track bearings in and assemble the bottom bearing track and I shall be back. Okay, I have now I've got it all assembled, I've got it labelled, I've done the labelling on the bottom as well, it's sort of flaring out will be right. And it's all ready to go into test mode um, and final alignment. So that's all basically finished. It's all ready to go. I am going to um, finish off the controller for it and basically then um, I'll um, show it all working. Thank you, Dokey. Catch up. Right, yeah, we're all done. This is up to test stage now. Um, so I'm going to um, plug it all in and take it for a bit of a quick drive around. And this project will be done. So plug in the control cable, plug in the rotator, get those plugs out of the road for now, move it forward a little bit, okay, we'll turn him on, I'll actually try and show you that the wire leads working, the actual LED illumination working, I'll try and shield the, the light that's around here, it's a bit more intense than you think it would be, but there's the LED illumination working. So, sticking back over here, taking for a bit of a quick run round, and we'll be uh, all done. Yeah, that's not what I'll do. Okay, we'll go around to the left to start with, and the limit switches, now with the limit switches in it, will take over when it reaches south. There we go, so no more um, stuffing up motors and whatnot. And now go okay, momentary or lock with this particular controller. So that's just a momentary holding at the present moment. And we'll stop it at west. Just pause. Okay, so now we can go press and lock. Now it's hands free. If you want to stop it, you just rock the switch the other way. We'll get there that north. We just rock it back a little bit, and then we can stop there. Carry on. 
and I've got the uh, overlap light working on this as well. It's actually pre pretty bright this one on this one, so yeah, normally I put it on the dull side, so I made this one a bit brighter. So I'll come around to east. Southeast. And the overlap light will come on as it passes south. There we go, boom, it's on. So there we go, we're coming up around the southwest in the overlap. And the limit switches will take over once it gets to west. Here we are. All right, so we shall bring it back to. Uh, and we'll see the overlap light turn off once it gets past south. And we shall call this one uh, done. So this is all good. Another project finished. We can get on to the next one. So I must admit I've got to do the manual for this one yet, but um, we'll bring it back to north and um, this will be it. We might actually do another stop and start. Just do a couple of manual hits and go back and forth a couple of times. Manually holding the button down. Take it to north and we shall call it done. Yeah. So everything is supplied with this. I'll be supplying oops, I lost a little pin. We have a um, I'll turn him off. We have the uh, brand new cinch plug, six pin cinch plug, the plug that I the, the six pin um, plug for the rotator and a new boot. Um, is supplied and I'll be supplying the bottom mounting hardware top mounting hardware is already on it with the clamp so we're good to go we shall catch you in the next project